What's going on, YouTube? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's bald. I am. It feels kind of nice, though. I know. Feels like a... I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> I don't sweat so easy now. <laughs> Well, we got a little bit more of, I want to see what I did there, a little bit more, huh, <laughs> of uh, some Funko pickups we got from the SDCC, sorry. And GameStop canceled one of mine, the Mr. Freeze. I bought it. It dropped 15 minutes early. I bought it one minute after it dropped. They took the money for it. They waited five days, and then they canceled it and said they were out. The heck, GameStop. Daggum, GameStop. Daggum it. I was so <laughs> mad. Because I wanted that Mr. Freeze pretty bad, so now i got to pick him up somewhere else. If we ever find it. Yep. It sucked. hate that, but here's the message they gave me. Ridiculous. Mm. I know it. So you got two there. Did we get anything else other than those two? I don't know. I don't think so. They ain't came in yet. Mm -mm. Still waiting on something. So we got a couple here. One of Abby's came in. The one from GameStop that they didn't cancel. You want to show that one off? I guess. It's our daughter Abby's. She got the Flocked Vulpex. Pretty cute. She likes the Pokemon Pops. I like anything Pokemon. Yeah, she likes anything Pokemon. She likes Pokemon. Pretty, pretty cute. That's one that makes sense to be flocked. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. They did a good job on that one. They did. Pretty mm. cute. Pretty cool one. Yep. And then we've, we each got a, this next one. Oh. Yeah, uh, my mom ended up finding these. And she picked up a couple for us. The Marty McFlies. Yeah, because we searched and searched and searched. God, we couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah. But she found them. Yep, she did. Good job, Mom. Yeah. Because that was not an easy one for us to find. Now, some people said they had a ton of them, and they're still sitting in their Walmarts. Well, our Walmarts, none of them got them. We actually got that one five days late, and they didn't. They only had six. Mm -hmm. Which was crazy. You know. Have you all had any problems with the SDCC stuff? If so, let us know below. It's been nothing but a problem. <laughs> Golly, it's been terrible trying to get some of these. Mm -hmm. I, had a I had some pre-order stuff come in. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for these. <laughs> Do you guys know why? Because it's Star Wars. So I had my Darth Malak. Oh, yeah. Come in. This this is a part of the set. I only pre-ordered two off of here because the other two will be fairly easy to get. The Darth Malak and the Darth Revan, those two are going to be really hard to get. I know the price on both of these are, are getting up there. Um, if you want to see the unboxing of this, of this one and Revan, go down to our Instagram page at... A little bit more, JJ. That's right, right down here. And you can check out some detailed pictures I took of these two out of box. But Darth Revan, really nice pop, guys. I mean, they did a great job on him. From Cooter. <laughs> the Yoda looks cute. <laughs> the Yoda's cool looking, and so is the, the Stormtrooper. Yeah. And I'll pick them up eventually. The Stormtrooper reminds me of a Master Chief pop. So here's Darth Revan. For all the Knights of the Old Republic fans out there. I am a really big fan of these. Got the same back, but show you the side over here. Yeah, it's kind of dark in there. But if you want to see them out of box, go down to our Instagram. That's pretty cool. I love these two. There's some uh, pretty cool pops coming out soon that we want. Do you know last night McDonald's on their website dropped the five pack? Did they? Surprised everybody and it sold out. I didn't even know McDonald's had a website. I mean, I guess so for like online ordering, but I... Does yep. McDonald's have like merch? <laughs> Can you get a McDonald's shirt? McDonald's, like 
do some retro, like all of those pops you just released. Put those on t-shirts for us 80s and 90s kids that remember those. Now, the individual ones will be available everywhere, but the five pack is shared with the Funko Shop and with McDonald's. Everybody was wondering how McDonald's was going to do it, and then they dropped it last night on their website. Mm. Oh, and bring back the pizza. He I doesn't rem remember, I don't remember getting the pizza. pizza at McDonald's, but... McDonald's pizza. I hate pizza. Like, I can't stand it. There's very few pizzas that I will eat, and I have to be in the mood and craving it. But McDonald's pizza. Oh, my God. I don't, don't remember McDonald's ever having pizza. It was little individual pizzas. If you remember. remember McDonald's pizzas, leave a comment so that he knows that I'm not just crazy. I think she's crazy, so. No. McDonald's pizza was where it was at. It was the best. I want a shirt that says I had my birthday party at McDonald's. I remember the birthday parties at I McDonald's. Had so, I had every birthday at McDonald's until yeah. they stopped doing birthdays. Yeah. I miss it. The cakes were like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I had one more thing come in from Amazon. And it is a smuggler bounty box that they had on sale for $9.99. And it had been $39.99. And the pops inside of here, each one of them are worth well over $9.99. So that means I got each pop for $2.50. Well, if they're a little damaged, it might be my fault. Because I got the box and I was like, nothing in here is protected. And I shook it. Thankfully, oh. it was in that box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if it's a little damaged, it, it was me. I hope not. Because I wanted both of these pretty bad. So let's open this up here. This is one of the older ones. Ooh, okay. So this is everything in the box. We'll put that aside. And this box, they actually had a 3X t-shirt, guys. You gotta do the sniff test. We'll do the sniff test. This is an older shirt, so it could really stink. No, smells good. No. And for those of you wondering why we do the sniff test, we opened a, uh, fun a Funko shirt once, and it reeked really, really bad. Yeah, it was one of the Mandalorian shirts. Yeah. But all of them since then have been okay. Oh, man, this is nice. I'm touching, they're soft. It's really cute. Yeah, so check it out here. The pod racing shirt, guys. Pretty awesome. I like it. It looks bigger than what it says it is. Yeah, which I like. I like them a little bigger. Yeah. Typically, I buy 4Xs because I like the way they feel. Yeah. This is nice. I uh, think Funko shirts run a little I'm glad, too. too. I'd rather them run big than small. Yeah. And I think it's everybody would like that. Yeah. Because all of them that I have are, like, a lot bigger on me than what my normal regular shirts are. I didn't know Funko made 3X t-shirts because usually they just quit at 2X. But all the Smuggler Bounty ones had 3X options. Yeah. I know. That's nice. All right, so now, let's see. There's a pin in here, and it's fell down behind one of the pops here. So let me get it out real careful. All right, so we have Sebulba. And, Abby, run over and grab that knife for me. I'm going to pull him out for you guys. He's in the set with General Grievous and Qui-Gon Jinn. I do not have either one of those. And I want both of those. Uh, I know General Grievous is going between $155 to $200 now. He is a he was a Walgreens exclusive. And he is rather hard to find. There we go. So it's now Sebulba, if you know that watch the movie, he was the pod racer that gave Anakin a little hard time. Oh, oh. he's weird. He is cool. He's a Doug. A Doug. Yeah, What's it's the that? name of his race. He's a Doug. So he walks on his hands and his hands are his, his feet, feet and his feet are his hands? Yeah. Pretty much. He yeah. did that really well. Good job. <laughs> oh, weird. I like this one a lot. And you know, after these last this last set of movies came out, these movies don't look so bad now. You know, a lot of people didn't like these because of Jar Jar Binks and a bunch of other stuff. I was a uh, eh, either way with them, but 
I do think they're better than the last movie they made. I like the last ones. I didn't. That's awesome. I'm glad to have Saboba. All right, I'll do the pin next. So I have my first Disney pin. I guess you would say for pin trading. But it's not like an official. That's a Funko pin. It's not a Disney pin. It's licensed by Disney, though. Yeah. But the Disney pins have, like, a design on the back. Oh, well. So the here's... official ones. You could still use it and trade it. They wouldn't not let you use it. Yeah, so there's the pin. Pretty cool. Pretty neat little thing. And, yes, we've been looking into our Disney vacation. <laughs> yes, we have. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> but worth it. Aurora Sing. Also part of the same set. Not bad for $2.50. She's in the... I want to say she's near $30. Right now. So I paid $2.50 for her. So is this... Is it, yeah. Little Annie. Who grows up to be Darth Vader. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Boy, she's got some detail in her. And she's cool. I know. Check out her hair, guys. Her hair's as long as mine. I know. But yeah, she's really cool looking. She's got booty in her. She does. She's got a big old booty. Woo! <laughs> they should have made her booty do. <laughs> Bobble the butt. They didn't say what you had to bobble for the Disney license. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Twerking Star Wars Pops. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> like, it's going to happen. Fuck, I'll make it. No one said you couldn't. <laughs> and then we can get some licensing credit for yeah, that, Yeah, right? for real. <laughs> it bobbles, we swear. <laughs> Well, that's it for this video. That's what we got. We got some. We're still waiting on a our bunch of stuff. <laughs> bunch of pre-orders we did a few months ago, you know, and then we've got. I'm like obsessively checking the porches, front and back porch, and the mailbox like every day. Yeah, I, I mean, like two to three months ago, we pre-ordered all kinds of Halloween stuff. Yeah, and it's hurricane <laughs> season, so we're getting like all the rains from the hurricanes. Yeah. So I'm like making sure to watch and check everywhere before like we get these random thunderstorms throughout every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, our, our mailmans are hit or miss. They Sometimes they put them on a porch. Sometimes they throw them around back on the porch that has no covering. Yeah. I don't know. And a lot of times if they set it on the front porch, they don't slide it back far enough. So if it does rain, it'll blow in on it. It's like... Oh, yeah. Slide it back a little. <laughs> yep. Just push it to the wall. I think out of all the mail guys, FedEx is the worst. Hands down. They throw the boxes around. Half the time if you get a box from FedEx, it's beat all to pieces. I don't ever pay attention to who's dropping off or who it's from. Our UPS postal guy does really good. He's the one that puts it up on the porch next to the door. Hmm. He does a great job. The other ones, UPS and FedEx, they're not that good. Hit or miss. I'm surprised they haven't walked them up the steps to our upstairs porch. It'll happen. Porch. <laughs> It'll happen one day. They're going to hate it, though, because one of the steps are about to break and needs to be replaced. <laughs> yes. And they fall through that. we got to fix that. <laughs> but, yeah, this was our, we're waiting on our Funko sodas and one pop from the SDCC to come in. Yeah, I finally got an email saying that the SDCC sodas finally that shipped. I ordered shipped. And the ones I ordered shipped. Plus the pop I ordered shipped last week, which is weird. Because I ordered it last and it shipped first. I don't know. And then our box lunch stuff is supposed to be coming in that we ordered. Mm. And then we're just waiting on all kinds of stuff from Halloween Mickey and Minnie to... Haunted Mansion. Mm -hmm. Got some of that stuff coming in. 
these two pre-orders for my Star Wars came in. I ordered a few a couple months ago, which I love. That Revan Pop is. You need to check that out on our Instagram, guys. So before this video launches, they'll be up on our Instagram. All right. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And what are y'all collecting? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.